And now it is time for us to meet our very special guest for tonight. Here is a lady who is undoubtedly the world's best-known party giver, Miss Elsa Maxwell. What in the name of Jack Parr is <laughs> all of this that we have here? I'm naturally giving a party. By the way, do you know what's your birthday next Friday? Apparently the rumor has gotten out. Gotten yes. out, yes. Do you, do you know which of my birthdays it is? No, I don't, unfortunately. That's good. Why are you afraid of talking about your age? No, I don't really mind talking about my age, I guess. I adore mine. I'm 73 years young. You I adore you. If you are 73, then on Friday I'm going to be 81. Bear up, old boy. Bear I'll up, try old man. I'll try to. <laughs> now, what about all of this fancy crockery that we have well, here? Well, um, I've arranged with the chef of the Waldorf to, re to give us, a, prepare us, rather, a uh, breast of pheasant, under glass, mm -hmm. champignon tuné with truffle sauce, uh, fond d'artichon farci with puree de, de, de petit pois. Well, that's grand. I wish you had a peanut butter sandwich handy. <laughs> food, and I'm sure the panel is going to enjoy it. Oh, they're not going to have a bite of this. What? Not a bite. What are they going to eat? Well, uh, they're, they're going to... I don't know what they're going to eat. That's my secret. I well, mean, uh, I'm going to save the, candy, the panelists their own food, taking from their own kitchen. And this is on the level. We <laughs> sent a squad up, and we raided the ice boxes of the various members of the panel and got food <laughs> out of it for them. Now, to make it a little bit more confusing, we're going to serve each panelist the food from the icebox of another panelist. All the while, Elsa and I having well, a breast of pheasant. Shall we eat some of ours now? Pray do. I'm hungry. I've been here for two hours. Pray do. I'm very now, hungry. Now, let's see what we found in the various iceboxes. Oh, now, first good. here, Betsy in her icebox had some anchovies, some oh. cheese, and to drink, we found some beer. So that's what that looks like, and we're going to serve this to Bill Cullen. We also found some cat food, but... <laughs> now then, from Bill Cullen's refrigerator, Bill's wife gave us some cabbage stuffed with hamburgers she made herself, some bonbons, a roast beef bone, and, to drink, some low-calorie ginger ale. <laughs> this we are going to serve to Jane. Now then, as we get over here... Jane's refrigerator reflects the taste of baby William Christopher Allen. We found some strained beef and pork liver. <laughs> strained peas, some strained mixed fruit with tapioca, and the graham cracker. And for a drink, we found some nice, healthy baby formula. We have warmed it to the right temperature, and naturally, we're going to feed that to Henry Morgan. Pour some champagne. I should be doing it, but thank I'm you. I'm saving you time. Now, in Henry's refrigerator, we found a perfect bachelor setup. We found an empty pie crust, <laughs> some corn flakes, and some kippered sturgeon. <laughs> and to drink, we found two things. We found a can of Hawaiian fruit punch and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> so we mixed them together and we put them in this glass. <laughs> Only thing is, there wasn't much Hawaiian fruit punch left. We'll serve this to Miss Betsy. Now, if you'll uh, ask the panel to come back in, please. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to take these cards out of the way. No. Oh. All right. Send them back. Send them back, and may I may I join you in the glass? Uh, friends, come on over here and have a seat. Join the party. You will find you will find place cards. Find your own place cards and do join. You will find the name. You'll find the party properly seated. Jane, you're over here. Say do, please. I don't know what I'm doing. Now then, don't anyone look under their covers. Don't look under the covers on your dish. You can only uncover and start to eat. I've never done this on the air before. You can only uncover and start to eat when it is your turn to ask a question. So we let's start, well, Bill, let's start with you. We'll start at the top. You uncover, take a bite, and then start asking questions. This concerns something that Miss Ma Maxwell has done. Uh, you know my eating habits. <laughs> okay, and something. here we go. Oh. <laughs> 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 Put the dome on the floor. 
Now, you may ask a question before you help yourself, if you'd rather. All right. <laughs> the question is, must I help myself? <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to help yourself, I'm afraid. You're in it now. Cheese. Yes. But don't I get anything? Oh, can I ask another question? Ask Miss Maxwell. Oh, Elsa. She has done. Yes. Elsa, I, I, I know how wily you can be now. <laughs> I'm, like, uh, I'm wily business in the world. Elsa, don't <laughs> answer with your mouth full. <laughs> Nothing to eat for eight hours. Starving. Elsa, is, is, does it have to do with this, uh, uh, pardon the expression, food that we have here? Yes. I have someone's knockwurst. <laughs> it's one of the worst knockwurst I've seen in a while. $20 down and $60 to go. And Jane, will you please uncover? Allow me to uncover I'm for you. I'm dying to. And that's your meal. <laughs> Cabbage, hey, I'll give, you, I'll give you the, I'll give you the knockwurst for the stuffed cabbage. Oh. <laughs> hey, does the audience know what's here on our plate? Mm -hmm. Do yeah. they know that I have candy mixed in with stuffed cabbage? What is They're this? Good. This looks like something for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a dog. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> well trained, huh? That's a dog. That's a dog. Well, um, until I saw oh, this plate. Dear Miss Elsa Maxwell was my favorite female television star. I like stuff, yeah. But this plate may change everything. Does this by any chance have something to do with our personalities? I hope not. Would Might be, you never can tell. Yes, it doesn't yes, represent yes. what you think of me, does it? So no, darling, Jane. Oh. I love you. Nice oh. All right, $40 down and $40 to go. And Henry? No. <laughs> Congratulate you at home who do not have color television. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy, uncover oh, and ask a question. Oh, <laughs> Bless you. Well, are you going to fill my pie show? I know. <laughs> take a take a drink. Uh, uh, this is the most the most horrible smelling stuff I've ever seen. It's like fingernail polish. <laughs> Now, how come I got beer and he got milk? Ooh. And I got beer. Well, Carl, we're going to blow the hole. Gonna... <laughs> I've forgotten what it... <laughs> All right. I know your secret. You what? want somebody to die of food poisoning on the way. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you. Oh. Miss Maxwell's secret is um, that she served you food taken from your own kitchen. That's my oh. stuffed cabbage. That's your stuffed cabbage. Stuff. I know. I That belongs to Henry Morgan. Betsy's food. Is this Betsy's well, knockwurst? I don't huh? have a knockwurst in my ice box. You don't have now. Not anymore, you don't. Here, look Pardon? At that. It's a sausage. It's a oh, sausage? Oh, that's for the crazy paella I made Real a couple crazy. of weeks ago. Real crazy. And some cheese. That's my cheese. My trouble Jane was eating, Jane was eating Bill's food. He recognized his stuffed cabbage. I recognize my stuffed cabbage. Betsy was eating Henry's food, and Henry was eating Jane's baby's food. Oh. Elsa and I, of course, were having stuffed pheasants under glass. 
Thank you, thank you so much, friends, oh, for being wow. with us, Elsa. We have Andre. got to cut it off. You have been thank you. more than a joy. I never gave a wish about it. To you. Happy Henry says, how did they get that out of my kitchen? <laughs> Thank you all, dear friends. And so until next week at the same time or until tomorrow on the morning show, this will be Gary Moore saying bye-bye for all of us. A special thank you to Elsa Maxwell. Be very kind to each other out there. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Son of Mark Hudson, Bill Cotton production. Miss Palmer's gown by Steel Chap. This is John Cannon speaking.